So just make sure we got three line agility, change direction quick, make sure you're taking steps and we're not hopping as we go through it. So we got eight seconds, two, two sets apiece. Ready, go. Quick steps here, quick steps. Move those feet, move those feet. Get them moving here, get them moving. Stop. Make those feet quicker, make those feet quicker. Get the rhythm and speed the feet up. Quick steps, quick steps. Stop. Yep. Solo. Quick steps here, quick steps. Move those feet, move those feet. Stop. Go. Here we go. Speed those feet up. Speed those feet up as quick as you can get them. Quick steps. Two times on each leg. When we do it, we're going to go two times around where we stick, and then two times around where we go as quick as we can. Um, and then we're going to stick the landing on the very last quick one. So make sure that when we're doing the stick, uh, hops that we're landing and we're absorbing the shock. So sink down, stay in that quarter squat, and when we jump, we get that triple extension. So if you feel like you're doing a good job sticking the landings, then we'll try to jump higher. So we'll start it off. Here we go. So don't bounce, don't bounce. Sink, sink and stick it. The quick ones stay on the front of the foot. Quick step, quick hops, quick hops, quick hops. <coughs> what a teammate. <laughs> Forgot your name. Get it, crew. Quick steps, quick hops, quick hops, quick hops. Yep, so Cord, take that little bounce. Take that little bounce out of it to so stay low. Sink in, stay low. There we go, Mo. With the stick at the end. So when we go, we'll actually go like from the outside dock. So you're kind of going across oh, yeah, like yeah. this. That way, yeah, so you kind of make that hourglass shape. Okay. Uh, that way we just change direction a little bit okay. on the angles. So stick it. Yep. Twice each foot. Twice each foot and then twice Twice around. Two times stick, two times quick. Yeah, four total. Like uh, multi-direction bounding. Make sure when we do this, you're standing nice and tall at the start. We're going dropping into it really quick before we bound. Make sure you're trying to get as far out as we possibly can, and we're doing it with a counter movement. So you'll land, sink into the hip, and then bound back to the start. So both bounds are trying to get distance, and the key that we didn't do as good last week is we didn't sink into the hip quite as good so sometimes we landed with a stiff hip so sink in through the hip like you're doing one of those one-legged squats in the weight room and then bound back it's also important that when we bound out that we're reaching with the one leg that we're gonna land on so if we reach with that leg we create a nice angle with the shin to help decelerate so here we go yeah when we go forward we'll jump straight up on the counter movement so distance and then straight up and then we land on one foot so always landing on one foot. And then stick to landing. You can pause here. Make it quick, explode quick. You can get a little more height, EJ. It'd be easier on your knees. Yep. And just land on one foot when you come back down. Oh, is that the, that's the first one? Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. You kind of were out in a little bit of an angle, so I thought. There we go, big jumps, swing the arms back when you land, get up quick. Sink into that hip. 
sink into the hip both both times. Yeah. Yeah, so you kind of you sink into the knee, but you didn't get the hip bending. Maximize those jumps, big jumps. Get that distance. Stick the landings when you come back to the start. There we go. Good job. We got a little more of an angle, like 45 degrees out. Big bounds, max out that distance as far as you possibly can. far as you can on both jumps, even if you get past and then you just got to sink into it. So you kind of hit and then just push back off with the ankle. So you want to sink through the hip. Big jumps, extend that hip. You got a little more in you if you extend that hip a little bit more. You might have to jump up a little bit more to fully extend that hip. And your leg like your lower leg is straight so you're landing and you're landing just like this so the knee is directly right over the foot and it makes you want to fall kind of over to the side so you have to counter everything but if you reach out like if I reach out here you create an angle on your shin to help you decelerate and stabilize okay. and then your body will kind of up come right up over top of it <laughs> Last one of the fall there. All right, good job today. Grab a drink with Kevin. Yeah, ready.